Corrales is a first-time caller out of Orlando, Florida. Corrales, thank you for calling. You're on the air. Hi, Jesse. How are you? All is well. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, pretty good. It's just, you know, over here reflecting on some verses in the Bible, and just something came across, and I just had to ask you a question about it. Okay. So I'm a single mother. I have a four-year-old son. His father's never been in the picture. Why not? Pretty much most. Long story short, when I was with his father, we only dated a month until I cut it off because I wasn't really feeling it. He was one of those guys that were really into church, all about God. And I was like, yes, God, you answered my prayers. Finally, somebody that's into church. But he was clearly one of those fake Christians because I found out I was pregnant. Um, told After we broke up, I found out I was pregnant. I told him he was excited about it at first. I'm like, okay, you know, we'll figure things out or whatever because when I found out we weren't together anymore. Then I come to find out that he was married. So I told him, like, hey, like, we need, like, what's going on? Trying to get married. He says, well, we were separated, but we are trying to work things out now. So I'm like, okay, well, you need to let her know what's going on because I'm not going to be having a love child and, like, it's going to be a secret or nothing like that. You're either going to let her know if you guys are all about Christianity and you guys go to church, you know, you guys were separated at the time when it happened. You know, she should be able to forgive you or work something out. He, they had a daughter together, so he feared, she, I guess she always was threatening him to take the daughter away, which I can understand now as a parent how he probably felt. But back then, of course, I was thinking about my own child. Like, yeah. you know, you have another kid, so you need to think about that one as well. It's not just one. It's two you have to worry about now. So I'm not going to lie. I did what all women do because, of course, I, I wasn't knowledgeable like I am now about how important it is, you know, a father and a child and how evil us women can be because of our emotion. Yeah. So I gave him an ultimatum. I'm like, listen, if you're not going to let her know, I'm not going to, my son's not going to be a secret. It's not going to be, you're going to pop in on holidays and birthdays only and him not know that he has a sister, like. I don't need that drama. I, I, I'm not a drama person. Like, you just go your way, I go my way. So we just pretty much agreed on that. He came back. He reached out to me last year around this time. His father passed away, so he was like, oh, I want to meet my son, you know. All this stuff that he was just telling me. But, of course, I didn't believe him because I'm just like, listen, I can't trust your word. You told me one thing, and it just always was a lie. Like, the whole entire me knowing you was all a lie. So I'm like, if you really want to be part of your son's life, you need to go and do it through the courts. Like, I'm not asking you for money because my son's, like, good. We don't need any money. It's just if you're going to be a father, be a father. But you're going to do it through the courts because, you know, it's not going to be you're just going to, one minute you're going to be like, oh, I want to be a dad. And next thing you're, like, ghosting. Because I feel like not no consistency in a child's life could cause harm. But watching your videos, I also can see how, even the little bit that a child has with the father could be not so bad either. So pretty much I'm just calling just to get, like, to see what I should do. Like, his dad's not really a, like, not stable, kind of, like, ghetto person. So, like, <laughs> you know they want to change their lives, but they really don't because their actions don't match with what they say. And it's just, like, I just don't know if, it's better to just keep my son away because of the environment, because of the type of person he is, or just take that risk and just hope that my son does not turn out to be like him because he'll end up looking up to his father and his ways. Do you, uh, did you go to church too? You met this man at church? I met him online on a dating website. Oh, but not at church. Not at church. But I do know based on his social media, well, I found out he was married based on a different social media page that he had. The ho, one that I ho, met him, I ho, met him on. It was him just going to church, sitting Bible verses. Like, who we even talk to? Hold on for Bible me. Let me verses. take a hold on for me. Don't hang up. Let me take a quick break, and I'll come back to that. So you met this guy online. You found out later that he was married, right? Yes, through another uh, Facebook page, and that's when I confronted him about it. All right. And so, what's your question for me? Like, if I should try to, like, reach out to him just to, like... Because I know last year he reached out wanting to be part of my son's life. 
But I told him, like, he wanted to do it. He had to go through the course because I wasn't going to settle for inconsistency. Like, if he's really wanting to be my son's life, he needs to show me that it's a for sure thing. It's not because he's having a moment because his father passed away and his father wasn't really part of his life. So I was like, well, I don't want it to be just because you're having a moment because your dad passed away and you don't want to have a son out there that doesn't know you just like you didn't really know your father. But he never did those steps that I told him to prove that he really was really about wanting to be my son's life. Okay. So it's like, should I just reach out and just have a deed to where at least he'll be part of my son's life whenever he feels like it? Or just keep it how it is where there's no contact at all and just keep raising my son the best that I can? Uh, really good question. Number one, you need to apologize to this guy for being angry at him uh, because it's not his fault that you slept with him and not matter whether he was married or not. You're suffering because you slept with a man and was not married to him. You met him online and you got pregnant. All of those things are your fault. You can't blame him yes. for that at all. So you need to, apo- right. you need to apologize to him for being angry at him and trying to punish him by keeping his son away from him. It's his son and your son, not just your son, right? And if the guy want to be with his son, you should let let that happen because the son is yearning for the father and there's nothing you're going to be able to do to to, uh, fulfill that void. And you're mad. It sounds like you're mad at this guy because you find out he's married and all that. And you're really using his son against him. And you're going to live to regret that if you don't apologize to this man and allow him to see his son. Yeah, because and I he's not too, I to blame. The Bible about forgiveness. But, yeah. And by, by saying, oh, he was in church, he was this, you know better than him. You did wrong, too. Women have to yeah, take responsibility I, yeah. for being wrong and stop trying to punish the ch- demand for it by punishing the children. Yeah. my ho- and, and you're absolutely right. Like, had I known this stuff years ago, right. it would be so different. Like, I never understood the value of, like, you know, having sex, of marriage, having this yeah. order that God has provided for us. Like, people are, we're not taught that as young people. Yeah, our parents are supposed to be examples of that, but they're not. They're supposed to be perfect examples of that. So the kids can learn by example, but the parents are not yeah. that way. They just set you up to have a horrible life as well. And now you're setting your son up to have a horrible life. Yeah, and I already know that I already did wrong by having him out of wedlock. So I already know that already sets him back. But so you're doing a double wrong. It better. But you're doing a double wrong by being angry at his father and keeping him away. Yeah, no, I was doing about forgiveness and about not judging, and I know that I have to forgive him. I have to forgive myself. Like, we both were, you know, it's not right me keeping him away. It's not right for me to judge him. Right. But my, and, I, and I know I'm saying it's not right to judge, but I know I'm kind of judging right now because his lifestyle is not what I want my son around. Like, the environment, I don't want that for my son. But your environment is no better. You know what? You're right. You're right. You're, you're right. My, my, it's, it's, yeah, you're right. It's not. So you need to stop judging yourself and this man and just accept that what you did was wrong. And that's and, and the results of it is that you now have a son out of wedlock. But don't punish your son. Let your son see the father freely. Don't take him to court. Don't be trying to do all that because the courts are not going to do the right thing for your son. And so I, if the father wants to see the son, let the father see the son. And don't give the Even father attitude to what? Even if it's not consistent? Don't worry about that. That's you trying to dictate it and control it. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, that's true. That would be me trying to control and I don't want to do that. Yeah. yeah. The son, let the son deal with that. He's going to see his father. He'll be fine. He just, his soul will feel satisfied just seeing his father rather than not seeing him at all. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because, I mean, I was in a relationship for three years, and then that didn't work out. And then, like, my son is just so used to having somebody that now he's, like, questioning me. 
and being sad. Oh, well, I don't have a dad. Da, 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 and I'm just like, yeah, he, 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 me. So and God's the father. That's your dad. Like, cause you know, i after my last relationship, I realized how much we have to put God first before anybody else. Yes. So it's like, I'm on that journey right now of, you know, reading the Bible, understanding it and having that relationship with God on another level right now. It's where it's like, you know what? Like, I need to fix this thing with my son and his dad. Well, what you need to do is fix yourself. You, read the Bible is not going to do it. And nothing wrong with read the Bible, but you need to go and forgive your mother for setting you up like this, keeping you away from your father. And that's why you're in no, it. My, that's my why you My father's always been the picture. He was just an alcoholic. like, And I forgive my dad for what he did. As a what child. did he like, do to really, you? What did you forgive him for? Well, he was just an alcoholic. Like He was a provider, but emotionally he wasn't there for his dad. He was always getting drunk. He didn't teach us what it was to like respect ourselves when it came to men but, or anything of that stuff. So I like, know, but that had nothing to do with you. He didn't do anything to you. You resent your father with your mother's resentment. She judged him for being an alcoholic. You felt sorry for her and identified with her. And now you think and act just like your mother. You're doing the same thing that she did because you're not yourself. You're really your mother. Those are not your des feelings toward your father. Those are your mother's feelings. Even though they've been married this whole time, because my parents, they, they're they still married. Right. So just but her just putting up with it. And it no, it's your, your father cannot deal with your mother, so he's an alcoholic. Oh, yeah, he can. Yeah, he can. He can. Yeah. Your mother he is. Not <laughs> your yeah, that's true. <laughs> your mother made him an alcoholic, then she judged him. It made you guys identify with her because she played like she was the victim. She's not a victim. She's a victimizer. She's not a victim. Your father, just like you, cannot handle your mother. Yeah. I think, like, even now we try to handle it because, like, I also, like, realize about having boundaries watching your videos, like, when it comes to your parents and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And it's like, I even try to explain to her, and it's like, She's getting a little bit better with boundaries, but sometimes she does cause it over, and it's just like, you know what, I can't talk to you, like, just, just, let's just, just keep it moving, because it's just nothing, you don't have, you can't listen, like, everything's your way, you don't listen. Right, and that's your father didn't realize he was marrying his mother, because he never did deal with his mother properly, so he, your, your mother is his mother, just like his mother, he was attracted to what he ate, and so what you need to do is go and forgive your mother for turning you away from him by making you identify with her. You don't love your father yet because you are your mother. You're not yourself. And then apologize to your father for identifying with your mother because you couldn't help it. You was a kid, right? And let him know you're yeah. sorry for the way you treated him. That was your mother working through you. Those are not your ways. Those are her ways. Yeah, I think, like, with my son, I just want to break that, that cycle because it is a cycle. Like, I look at my grandma, and, like, it's she was just said about how my father, you know, yeah. me and my grandma. And it's just, like, I need to break that cycle. You do. I well, love my son too much to have that continue. Well, you need you can break it by overcoming your mother and returning to your father. Yeah. Because all these men you're getting involved with are weak men as well because you resent the weakness of your father, and now you're attracted to what you hate. And all these men you're getting involved with a week and bringing other men into your son's life is not going to solve the, the void in his life. He needs his real father. Yeah. No, you're right. I'm definitely going to just try to reach out to look for him if I can. And, and stop blaming that man for what him. you did. You don't want laid up with him. However you found him, you slept with him. You were looking for love. No, yeah. You were looking yeah, for the love true. of a father, and you end up getting screwed instead of the love of a father. You produced a son. Don't let your son, don't make your son suffer through the mistakes that you made. Yeah, and that's what I don't want to do. I don't want him to suffer over my mistakes. So let him see his father. Yeah. No, I will. I'm definitely going to reach out today and talk to him about it and see where it goes from there as far as. And when you call, when you talk to his father, say, look, John Doe, I was wrong. I'm sorry about the way I've been acting. It was my fault I got pregnant. I am sorry for keeping your son away from you. 
you can freely see your son, and I won't give you any attitude or anything. When he comes around, don't be all that way because it's not his fault that you were looking for the love of a father. He's looking for the love of a father as well. You ended up, yeah. your mother set you up like that. Forgive your mother and return to your father. Yeah, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. And don't ask your mother for apology. Uh, uh, don't ask her to forgive you. You forgive her for what she's done to you by turning you away from him and, and, uh, and forgive your father for not being able to protect you from her. He couldn't help it. He doesn't know that he needs to overcome his mother. He's married. He was married to her or dealing with his mother. Your, your mother is just like his mother. Yeah, that's very true. Like, I felt if my dad, like, was an alpha and, like, taught us things and, like, did protect us from my mom, like, what came out so much different. Absolutely. You wouldn't be having any of these issues at all. But so read the Bible if you want, but if you don't go and forgive, then read the Bible mm -hmm. just vain. It's just knowledge about good and evil, but it's not going to yeah. change you. The only thing that's going to change you is that you have to repent from playing God. And playing God is when you resent your father and mother. Yeah, I really appreciate you talking to me and answering my question. I'm definitely going to, you know, do what you told me. Tell my mom that I forgive her. Reach out to my son's father. Tell him that, you know, I'm sorry. And yeah. have them reconnect because I do not want my son to suffer. Not only will your son's life get better, but yours will too. You, you're going to have peace in your life, but you're not going to have it until you forgive so God can forgive you. And if your mother don't like it, that's on her. If she doesn't want to come around, that's fine because you'll just destroy your son anyway, so you don't need her around. Yeah. And when you see his father, do not give him attitude. It's your fault you got pregnant, laid up. Sleeping with a man and not married. Stop sleeping with men and not married. That's not love. Yeah, it's not. And if I had understood that, I, I would have done stuff so different. But it's just Absolutely. not understanding the consequences. Yeah. Like, I was, I was parents nowadays, or, like, even my parents, they would they always tell you, oh, don't do this. Don't have sex before marriage. But it's like, okay, but explain to us the consequences. Because the consequences we will understand a lot easier than it just being like, oh, don't do this, don't do that. Tell us why we shouldn't do it. Tell us that if you do that, yeah. you're going to suffer. If you do this, you're going to be heartbroken. Like, sex isn't this. You no, know, it has to be a spiritual connection through God. Like, yeah. And most, just, most it's not being taught the right way. And most importantly, mothers should not be turning their sons and daughters away from their fathers. Because if they didn't turn them away from the fathers, you wouldn't be doing these things. You wouldn't be looking for love because you would be fulfilled and, and the right man would come, would be added to your life and you would have a great family and the next generation would get better and better and better. But when you turn away from your father, then you turn towards Satan and he become your daddy. Because women who turn children away from their father, from their fathers, they hate God. They hate man. They hate God. Yeah, and I don't want to be with hate either. So right. Like I've been through enough in my life. I'm like, you know what? The one thing I haven't done yet is turn is turn come fully to God. Yeah. And, and just it be God and just have that relationship with God. That's the one thing I have not done. It's just like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do it because I need a peace of mind. Well, forgive your father. Apologize to him for treating him this way because it was your mother working through you and love your earthly father. You cannot help but love God. We love the son. Yeah. You love the father. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Jesse. I really appreciate you talking to me about this. Really You're answering my questions and really, I feel right now that me taking the steps that you're telling me that I should take is definitely going to be a life changer. It will. Especially for my son. Yeah, especially and for you. For yeah, especially for him and especially for you because once you forgive, your life is going to be, a, you're going to see that you are a daughter of God and your life will be amazing. 
because you're not going to be looking for love. You will have peace. And uh, as long as you stay with the Father, if you desire a, a husband, he will add it unto you if you need it. But if you don't, you'll mm-hmm. still be fine. Yeah. All right, but you got to go yeah. and forgive your mother and return to your father. Do you, uh, are you doing my silent prayer video? Yes, I am. I do that in the mornings and before bedtime. Good. Stay with that. Speak up, but yes, don't resent. I doing that. Yeah. And, and I want you to be aware that when you're about to talk to your son's father, Satan is going to try to work your mind to make you angry or make you feel something. Let that pass and you be honest with him and let that go. Okay. Okay, I will. All right, thank you, Jesse. And don't expect anything from him. Don't expect him to act the way you want him to act or do what you want him to do. Let the son and the father work that out. They'll be fine. Okay, I will. I really appreciate it. Let me know how it goes, all right? I will. I'll let you know how it goes. How old are you? I'm 33. You're young, so you're blessed that you're waking up right now. Yeah, I'm blessed. My son's four, so I'm just like, you know what? I need to do this, especially now at this age. Yes. Before he gets older, because the older he gets, I feel it's going to be a lot harder. Absolutely. So that's why I had to also call in, because I'm just like, like, do I, I'm not supposed to judge, I'm supposed to forgive. Like, I know the relationship between a father and a child is important. Yeah. Do it now or later. And I'm talking to you, I feel like right now is the perfect time. Absolutely. And, I noticed that when you first called in, you were blaming the father, but not yourself. You're all mad at him, but you didn't realize, you know what? I was wrong, too. I had no business, whether he was married or not, (laughs) church or not. I'm wrong for what I I did. You pointed it out that it was me. You're right. Yeah. That's true. It is my fault. You know, I made my decisions. Yeah. You made your bed, so lie in it. Yeah. All right. Let me know how it goes. God bless you, okay? All right. Thank you, Jesse. You have yourself a great day. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Amazing.